Meghan Markle accused of making Harry a puppet as Duke sent out to fight her battles. Meghan Markle has been notably absent from Prince Harry's recent media adventures, suggested one royal author. Prince Harry is doing his wife's bidding why she isolates herself from the ongoing fallout, one royal author has claimed. Since the Sussexes released their Netflix docudrama in December, Harry has launched his tell-all book, taken part in numerous interviews to promote that book, and sat down with trauma expert Dr. Gabo Mate, why Meghan Markle was kept a low profile. In so doing, the Duchess of Sussex is repeating the reward why Harry takes the heat from his controversial remarks about the royal family. Tom Boa, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry and the War Between the Windsors, suggested to GB News. Meghan, the person that really fired up the whole crisis, is absent, the royal biographer claimed. He continued to say, she is sending Harry out to fight her battles why she stays in obscurity. She is using him to fight her enemies, the royal family. Boa added, he is the one who takes out the flag and she stands back. He has become a puppet. Harry's media campaign has sparked the backlash on both sides of the poll. An initial polling conducted six days after the release of his tell-all memoir Spare found his popularity had sunk. Redfield and Wilton's asked 2,000 eligible US voters to rate how much they liked the Duke following the release of Spare and the couple's Netflix docuseries Harry and Meghan. The polling company found that the Duke of Sussex's favorability score had plummeted to negative 7 from a high positive 38 on December 5th. More recent polling has found Harry and his wife Meghan's popularity has further sunk to a negative. According to polling undertaken in Britain on March 1st by strategists Redfield and Wilton, Harry's net approval rating has dropped 37 points since November to negative 2022. Negative 22. Meghan has also dropped 31 points, leaving her with an approval rating of negative 33. The latest polling is a blow to the Sussexes brand, but other royals did not fare much better. Prince Andrew's net approval rating now sits at negative 53. A 22-point drop since November, Queen Camilla received an approval rating of positive 1, a 24-point drop since before Harry's memoir and Dogo series were released. Camilla and William were perhaps the royals most negatively portrayed in Harry's tell-all book and interviews undertaken to promote it ahead of his record-breaking release on January 10. In the book, Harry accused his stepmother of leaking stories to the media about him in order to sacrifice him on her PR altar in the process of earning public favor. He also made a number of swipes against his brother in the book, recounting at one point he physically attacked him at Kensington Palace in 2019. Despite Harry's divisive remarks, the Duke and his wife have been invited to his father's coronation on May 6. Harry and Meghan have not yet confirmed whether they will attend the historic occasion. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.